Hey, Autopilot Traders. Before we get into today's session, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Take a moment for the families who have lost ones over on the island of Maui with the devastating fire that has hit there. It became known to me today that one of our Autopilot Trading members, her husband is a fire chief over on Maui and was witness to all the devastation, death, and destruction there. So just take a moment of silence for those families there and also for the rescue workers who are working feverishly to get through all the buildings, all the devastation that is there on island. Thank you very much for that. I want the Autopilot Trading Service to be a place where traders who are searching how to become a great swing trader can come and uh, we can provide some guidance on how to do that in a better way. Autopilot trading is a clear and simple approach to more profits. We present multiple stocks on a, daily, on a weekly basis along with a fabulous technical analysis on the indexes themselves and a couple of tips on how to become a better trader. One of the folks you'll see going forward is we're gonna hone it down to where we're looking specifically at how to swing trade. Why? Well, swing trading is, I, in my humble opinion, after doing this for almost 30 years, swing trading is the best way for a busy person who's still working for a living or just doesn't want to be involved with the market all the time. Best way for them to produce phenomenal results if they follow a proven system. That's what we offer with Autopilot Traders. Let's stop jabbering about it and get after it because I've got two great stocks, one great ETF, and some great analysis that will help you swing trade your way to freedom this week. Let's go. Hey folks, help the Autopilot Traders YouTube channel grow by hitting that subscribe button ding the bell, and share the content with a swing trader that you know. Thanks a lot. Well, hey, fellow traders. Welcome to another <laughs> exhilarating episode of Swing Trade Your Way to Freedom. That's right. We changed the name on it. Uh, I got to think about it last week, and, and I said to myself, you know what? I am a swing trader. So why? And I know a Neil practices a, a type of swing trading also. So why not? make the sessions about swing trading. And so now will we welcome everybody who wants to come and watch the video and watch the uh, session? You betcha. I believe swing trading is the basically the best way a person who is busy, maybe still working for a living, or maybe they're retired and just want to enjoy their 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 retirement time where they're not having to watch a, a video screen all the time to figure out how to put on trades. I think swing trading is one of the best ways to be able to uh, uh, get to the place of financial freedom. We're going to be diving deep into the area of swing trading, uh, but I also want to share a little bit of a story. This week, I received an absolutely fantastic email from a young man, and uh, for identity purposes, we'll just call him Matt. And uh, Matt shared some information with me. You know, he just he just reminded me so much of my own story. You know, he started he started out trading with a burning desire for financial freedom and a genuine passion for the stock market. But he found himself facing challenges that are all too common. You know, he had while well, he had this all this ambition and a, and a you know his mind was just brimming over with you know what you know to do in the market had great knowledge. He just hadn't settled on an approach uh, that was bringing him consistent success. You know, the thing about it is with Matt's story is that it's not unique to different traders. Uh, we all kind of go through that. I know I have. We struggle with our timing, our entries, our managing our emotions, um, market turbulence like we've seen this week. And the basic need to just simply have a simple structure and plan that works for us. And that's what we've got with our sessions that we do every week, just simple solutions to trading. The autopilot trading service is basically, it, excuse me, <laughs> it's a clear and simple approach to more profits. That's what we focus on. 
And I want to focus on also just providing a guide to people who want to go on that journey with us. It's tailor made for people who want to go on a path that will build them towards better trading. That's what we're doing here as we roll into the rest of the session. You know, we'll come back to Matt's story in just a little bit. But today... Uh, you know, what are you doing to find your trading edge? That's one of the questions I, you know, like to ask people. You can drop a comment in the, uh, over on the YouTube channel if you're watching over there, or you can also just uh, lay a, uh, a comment in the uh, comment section there. What are you doing to do that? And I include, encourage you to stick around for our stock picks this week. I have a huge bonus pick for you that you're not going to you know, want to, uh, you, you're not going to want to miss. Have a question for you before we jump into the charts, Anil. We just hit peak 65. I could have prepared you for this, but what, what do you think peak, peak 65 is about? Honestly, I don't know. Well, it's something that's probably very near and dear to both of us. That's that the baby boomers have finally hit the peak of their retirement and and uh, are have retired at the maximum amount they're going to retire. It's going to start dwindling from here. So what is the effect on the stock market? What do you think it's going to be? I mean, I don't know. But have you thought about it? I mean, I haven't thought about it, but I have a gut feeling that stock market probably has dialed in that already. Okay, good point. And so anyway, hey, just remember, guys, you know, be on the lookout throughout the video uh, if you're watching over on the YouTube channel for bonus links that I'll hide in the corners and they'll pop up for playlist uh on trading lessons that I've learned over the 30 years that I've been trading. So let's go ahead and jump over into what we are looking at. And so here's what we did last year. We are on track this year to continue doing well. We're up about 20%. As you see, the first week in August actually took us back to where we ended the month in July. Now, is that okay? You betcha, because no P&L ever goes straight up. And then, uh, so here's where we were last week. Here's where we are this week. We're down just a little bit. Uh, again, well within our limits. Uh, I want. I don't want to have a drawdown of more than ten percent, and uh, and that's ex and we are well within that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what are the indexes telling us going into. Uh, the rest of the, the uh, in, into this week. Okay, let's start with the S&P, utilizing the spiders for that. The one thing I see here, Anil, that kind of piques my, my interest. Hey, guys, if you could drop your any of your comments over into the chat box. Thanks, Tim, for the, for the information, though, and, and the comments. Excellent. Yeah, I love it. And the reason I ask you to do that is because Zoom, when it records, it records the chat if it's to everybody. And I like to share, make sure that gets shared out there with uh, everybody. And so S&P, well, on S&P, we have a crossover on the 8 and the 20. We have um, price approaching the 50-day moving average. And then a little piece of information I think you want to be watching out for is there's a little bit of a gap right there, a little bit of a gap up. And we are basically closing that gap at this particular time. We are in a the the throes of a you know downturn, downturn or downtrend. It is short-termed. Watch what happens with your momentum. Uh, the momentum line, as you can see, we had a two-line cluster yesterday. Uh, and when that happens, we anticipate some kind of reversal back up to the upside within a one to, in this case, day, one to um, a four-day period. I'll be, it'd be interested to watch what's going to happen on a rally attempt, a rally attempt. How far is it going to go? And then before it rolls back over and drops, that is the what I'm anticipating. That is what I'm anticipating going into today into the session next week. So 
TSI has not turned back up and continues to dive. Notice on the weekly chart what's happening. The TSI has rolled over from a topping type pattern. The market forecast longer term has not rolled over yet. I mean, it's rolled over. It has not crossed the 80 line. That oftentimes is an indication that, okay, we're going to go into a further downtrend. Look what happened back at the beginning of 2022 when we dropped below the 80 line and the price action continued to fall in a major correction last year in 2022. 2022 was a tough year. So that's what we've got going on on, on the spiders. I will, I'm not a buyer. I'm not a seller. Um, the uh, I, I, If I were, I would be looking more towards buying or trading into the queues. And Anil has already said on the queues, there we go. On the queues, didn't you say that uh, on the queues, you just got a sell signal on it? I got a sell signal on queues as well as on spy. Okay. Okay. And so on the queues, I think the queues are actually, the NASDAQ is actually a little bit more weak. Uh, it's sitting right on top of the 50 day moving average. Watch for that to fail and drop all the way down to this uptrend line. That's what I would be looking at happening. We can also throw a Fibonacci on this from either this low or this low to get, and we'll take it the more conservative approach from this low here. Throw the Fibonacci on there, give us an idea of where it may turn around. And I like the 50% retracement, which is about the 349 level. That's where I anticipate this turning around or at least finding you know, past levels of support. It may also coincide, do we get a uh, convergence of support by the uptrend line and the Fibonacci right about that level right there, about the 350 level. Speaking of which, I would be looking at trading into the TQQs if we get down to that level. If we roll back up and let me get rid of this for a second. Here's the, uh, one of the things that we're going to be providing with people on a weekly basis. If I roll back up and to this up to this downtrend line right here, and I and I hit that level, I would be looking to trade SQQQ to the downside. And so, uh, why is because one we have not had a reversal in the momentum. And with no reversal in the momentum, and if the longer term momentum still stays pointed down, any pullback back up into the 820 day moving average could be considered an opportunity to short SQQQ, correction, short QQQ or TQQQ and or go long on SQQQ. Just a reminder, next uh, Saturday and uh, I think it's a, it starts like eight o'clock in the morning, doesn't it, O'Neill? O'Neill on. Um, I think so, yes. Yeah, it's the IBD National um, National Meetup uh, meeting. Amy says that there's over a thousand people already signed up for it. If you have not signed, registered for it, I encourage you to go ahead and register for that. I will be sending out links to folks on how to get registered for that. It's a free uh, meetup. It's going to be about two and a half to three hours with, uh, and I'm going to, I get to I get to speak on uh, trading the leverage ETFs uh, and how to do that profitably. That's what I'm going to be working on. So Russell, now Russell has rolled up into its this uh, area, zone of uh, supply and has been selling off. As you see, intraday, we finally broke the uptrend line. So I didn't be anticipating a pullback on Russell down to about 188 or maybe down to the 200-day moving average, about the 182 level. This may give us an opportunity to trade. I will be looking for something similar. Draw a trend line across these highs. And I'm going to give you a special deal. I'm going to show you how I would look to trade this on TZA. Just draw a trend line up 
the lows. And on Monday, that low will be at about uh, 224.15. The next day, it'll be up at about 20, uh, 24.45. That could be a target to go ahead and try to enter, expecting a move up higher with TZA. Uh, and our pulling into the 820-day uh, um, moving average, that would be anticipating additional weakness going into the end of the uh, uh, into the August and September time frame, and TZA being the leveraged inverse of the Rus the IWM, that it would be going up as the index would be coming down. So that's a that's a little special for you. So Neil, what what's your thoughts on the markets? Markets, uh, as I said, I'm getting signals. Uh, sell signals on QQQ, SPY, TNA, everything, and TQQ also. Wow. Okay. And uh, so a nice thing going on TQQ. I, I was taking profits as, as it was going up. And uh, this morning, I finally got out of TQQ. Awesome. So, uh, so you, you, uh, TQQ, yeah, it would have been a great time to just jump ship on TQQ. And, uh, but uh, great, because TQQ went on one heck of a nice run, and I will be highlighting that during our talk next next Saturday. So, great run, and luckily the my system gave perfect timing, and this is this time I did not hesitate. All right, <laughs> usually I hesitate and lose some in doing so but i said no i'm just going to follow the system that's oh, it. okay awesome no 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 that's 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 one of the things just that following your system is so critical and that's one of the reasons why i encourage people to use the conditional orders and target shoot the entries and then take your profits as you go and take your and also auto, put in there automatically where your risk reward is taken care of and also your your other other uh, uh, profit targets, and you can also let it run. Uh, Mark Douglas made this statement: simplicity is the key to brilliance in trading. The more complicated your methodology, the more room there is for error. And with that, I wanted to cover one of the questions that came through: How do I know which way the market is going? And I grabbed some of the discussions from actually Mark Minervini about how he makes this determination because I really like what he has to say. But it's a great question to, and there's some factors to be, you know, to take into consideration is one, establish the market structure and condition. Every uh, chart has a certain market structure and condition that you should be able to look at the chart and know immediately the likelihood of which direction price is going to go. So on trend, you wanna be looking at the long, intermediate and short-term trend. So what does that mean? It means you start with, if it's you know on a weekly basis, start with a weekly chart, then move to the daily chart, then move to the intraday chart. And we wanna find places and points in time where the, the uh, they're all in sync because that will give you a better opportunity. And as an example, if the long-term chart, the weekly chart, let's say, is in a strong uptrend, but the daily chart is in a short-term downtrend, what do you do? And part of what you do is have it already determined in your mind through your trading rules that you will wait for a setup on your weekly ch daily chart uh, and jump into a trade to the upside simply because that's where the strongest that's where the strongest trend exists is on the longer term uh, time frames. Number two, price actions with respect to the moving averages, the 50 and the 200 day, uh, moving averages in particularly. If price action is above the 50 and the 200 day moving average, look to trade to the upside. So what does that mean? It means I want to be trading pullbacks 
to take bullish trades up to the upside. If price is below both the 50 and the 200, I want to be looking at trading pull-ups into the moving averages. In other words, uh, little flag ups to trade to the downside. Very simple rules, and I, you know, that people can adapt with their swing trading to keep them out of trouble. And then if day trading, review your daily chart and intraday chart. If you are swing trading, review your daily, weekly, and monthly charts. Monthly charts, you look at those at you know the first the last week of the month and the first week of the month, and then once a week after then, just to see what it's the the candlestick that it might be putting out. And so that's one of the things that uh, I you know I look for. And then simplify by using pullback setups in an uptrend and pullups in a downtrend. If I could put it all in a a you know in one, which I have done with the autopilot trading service, put it in one place where you do those two things and do them successfully, uh, that would be the suggestion I would make to folks and just focus on those two. And then we would be in agreement with both the statements from Mark Douglas and also Mark Minavini, where they talk about focusing on just one or two uh, chart setups and then, you know, and, and become masters at those. And so that's what we do with the autopilot trading service. And uh, um, so that's the question or that's my uh, trading tips and trading secrets for this week, Anil. No, it looks great. Okay. One thing that I recently found, particularly on monthly charts. Yeah. I'm looking at Haikanashi. Okay. Yeah. The first Haikanashi, when it comes uh, telling me the reversal, uh, that's pretty reliable, looks like. So are you are you trading the high, uh, uh, Haikanashi? No, on a long range term, I'm, I'm using monthly, but watching Heiken Ashi on monthly. Okay, cool. And so if it's above the cloud, you're trading to the upside. If it's below the cloud, you're trading to the downside? No, it just gives me the indication. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so I'll say I look at what's next. So as I said, don't fight the trend for a few baubles. <laughs> and so, hey, if you haven't, uh, checked out check out the precision entry point uh, uh training that i offer over on the on um, the autopilot trading uh uh session it basically it's time to flip your uh, flip the script on your trading uh, maximize your profits three strategic trading signal that can improve your results and what i find is it just hones it down and and uh, I appreciate all the comments that people have made about this training. I, I have kept the price on it exceptionally low. Uh, it's like seven bucks. There's a hundred percent money back guarantee on it. And I also just throw in there some awesome candlestick uh, uh, tutorial also. So there, I will put a link in the pinned comments and also down in the description on the YouTube channel when I post the post this over to YouTube. So now drum roll, please. Let's jump into our picks for today. Now, I tell you what I'm gonna do, Anil. I'm gonna jump over here to AEA. Uh, that's a test system. And I like it. I like the setup. I think it's got a little bit more to fall uh, to get a bounce here off the breakout area, about 44.52. But uh, how are you going to trade this? I think I'll probably buy probably today or Monday after. Okay. I think it has come down, but still, uh, I'll buy it with a very tight stop. Okay. Excellent. And so, yeah, I'm looking at the momentum indication. It had a breakout above the 44.36 level. That is well within, you know, that area is, yeah, about 5% away. And so, yeah, I like it. Um, and what's your, um, 
Your SMR on this is A. Yep. Your accumulation distribution uh, was B plus. Your comp was 97 and your up down ratio was 1.5. Now, and but you haven't bought it yet. No, I haven't bought it yet. I'm just, okay. Because I'm like you, this one might fall a little further. Okay. No, I, yeah, it's, but it's in a nice move up. One of the things you can double check on guys, and I just see this right here, uh, Anil, if you don't mind my mentioning, is, is take this, there's a secondary trend line here that goes along here. So let's say that this fails right here and, and drops down and takes out those numbers. Don't throw in the towel on it. I mean, you follow your rules and all that kind of stuff, but it may just drift all the way back down to this uptrend line and then bounce from there. So one of the things I encourage people to do is just because a trade isn't per se hitting you know, uh, uh, on all cylinders doesn't mean, or not hitting on all cylinders, but just because it it basically turns out to be an initial loser doesn't mean it's not going to be a winner later on. So don't take it off your watch list is what I'm trying to say. Excellent. Now, remember, we do have a bonus, uh, a bonus entity that I'm going to be revealing here shortly. So here we got Net. Net has a uh, 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 SMR of uh, B, uh, accumulation distribution of B, a comp of 99, and an up-down ratio of 1. It is currently stuck in a trading range from about, let's say, $73 down to approximately uh, $61, uh, $62. So here's what I'd be looking at this. I, I have no problem buying it right now. Uh, in fact, this was a, a stock that came out on our list from our premium members. But I also would also look at if I drop down here to approximately $61 to $61.50, buying it there with a stop loss immediately below the $60.15 level. That's another entry to this that I would be looking at for a run back up into that area there. So as I said, net. Now it may crap out and fall all the way back down here to the 50 day moving average, correction, 200 day moving average. But right now it's holding that, uh, that uh, horizontal uh, trading range. And so picking it up at the, towards the bottom of that trading range is a, always a good idea. Any, any thought, comment on? No, it looks good uh, on, the triple screen system actually it has a sell signal, which okay. is which is fine because it's come down and I'm finding it just touching the bottom of the Bollinger band. So might reverse from there. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. One of the other things I like about this, and we're seeing this a lot of the charts uh, stocks so we're it's early on in its consolidation. In other words, we had a big, huge move over here, and then we sold off 2022 into 2023, and now we're consolidating. And so oftentimes, if this consolidation works out, we're going to break back out and take back off. And so there's a lot of stocks that look at this and so look this way. So go back and check the weekly chart on, on those, if you will. This is our bonus pick for today, and it is... In UGT, the two times leverage ETF for the gold miners uh, uh, called Nugget. And Nugget is the TSI momentum is starting to shift. The more market forecast on the data chart is starting to shift. And I'm putting in what could be a nice hammer on the weekly chart. But my stop loss would be immediately below that 30, uh, 3101 level. So probably $30 and 84 cents. Uh, if I, I wouldn't necessarily buy it right here. I might look for it to either break above the eight and stay there. In other words, a close above the eight day moving average would be one trigger to get in. Secondly, another trigger would be to get in at about the $32 level. So I really like this one, even if it just recaptures this past high here, that would be a move of, let's take it from where it's at. 
Well, about 25%. So there'd be a really excellent swing trade over a couple of uh, a couple of weeks time frame. So that's my 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 last choice, Anil. Okay. And um, so yeah, I wanted to be blending in some of these uh, some of these additional types of entries for our swing trading opportunities. <laughs> Well, that does it for this week, uh, guys. But oh, I almost forgot about Matt's the rest of Matt's story. Guess what? You know, well, you know, it for Matt, it, it doesn't end in frustration because he basically does plug in and start watching the swing uh, trade your way to freedom uh, video that we put up every week and he watches it live when he's able to. And then he's, you know, now he's armed with actionable strategies and expert insight from Anil and myself about what the trade, what the uh, indexes of the stocks um, and the stocks and ETFs are doing. And also a supportive trader, the, the everybody else who's here. Uh, so whether you're beginning your, your, your trading journey, uh, please join or you've been at it for quite some time. Remember, join us every Friday for Swing Trade Your Way to Freedom. We can guide you in, on your journey to better trades and growth and to finally reach financial freedom. So, uh, you know, don't let your trading challenges hold you back any longer. And remember, if you haven't subscribed over on the YouTube channel, hit to uh, squash that subscribe button and uh, take a copy of the link and share it with a trader you know who could be a great swing trader. So, and so that's all I've got. All other links and descriptions and all that type of stuff will be in the pinned comments. And remember, please share, help us reach over a hundred likes on this video. I'd really appreciate that. So Anil, any parting thoughts? No, I think uh, nothing right now. We'll okay. Just... Well, good day, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. And in case you're wondering, uh, you know, please continue to pray for Maui because the, the fire devastation on, on the island of Maui was just, crazy and insane. So with that, I'll say aloha. God bless everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. See ya.